copywritten in 1957. And um, just want to read something that it says real quick. What is a Mandingo? Question mark. The Mandingos were a Hamitic tribe of Western Sudan, believed to be Arab or Berber in origin. Many of them very handsome, very strong, sturdy, and robust. The pure breed ones were of a rich copper color and had Moorish features as opposed to Negro features. The Mandingo Kingdom, with this centuries enduring dynasty, was established in 1200 AD, or perhaps even earlier. and had its capital at Timbuktu. The Quran was the basis of education and literacy and more widespread there than contemporary cultures in Europe. Mandingos are distinctly not Negroes. They are perhaps more related to the Anglo-Saxons than they are to the forest Negroes of the Gold Coast, Ivory Coast, and Grain Coasts of West Africa. Notwithstanding, they were lumped in with the true Negroes and enslaved when the slavers were able to acquire them. They commanded a premium in the slave factories because of their strength, vigor, beauty, and intelligence. Delicacy. Only a few Mandingos were ever brought to the mainland of North America. The Mandingo in this novel is a handsome slave around whom a complicated fabric of violent and raw emotional turmoil evolves. And that was written by Kate Onstott, the writer of this book, Mandingo. And we've heard Mandingo. We've heard about this you know, coming up, but we didn't know it was a book, so I decided to purchase the book when I noticed when I seen it. Um, let's see what they said about this novel. Fort Lauderdale, Florida News. Each volume should have a little package or bicarb attached to the last chapter. New York Post said one of the most discussed books of the year, The Shock Lies in Not So Much in Cruelty and in Violence but in a cold-blooded examination of the system of slavery. Uh, Lexington, Kentucky, Herald Leader wrote, Morbid, fascinating, revolting, interesting, sadistic, a fascinating story which strikes the conclusion with a sledgehammer blow to fit the rock, the reader, in his tracks. The Newark News said, An unforgettable book that proved slavery degraded the master, no less than a slave, and the black man lost only his freedom, but the white man lost his soul. Uh, Reverend Daniel Poling of the Christian Herald also wrote, So appalling, so terrible, but at the same time so convincingly authentic, Mandingo is the all-out other side of the antebellum slavery, and the side Lincoln glimpsed on at the open market on his visit to New Orleans. So that's what they wrote about a novel called Mandingo, Mandingo Warrior. But they said the Mandingos were Moors, not Negroes, and they were described different. So there are dark-skinned people called Negroes, and that call themselves Negroes pre-America, and then there's people that were called Negroes after American civilization started and that was an ignorant mistake because when Columbus came here he said he was looking for India so he named the people the Indians so obviously the other people that was with him was like oh those guys look like the Negroes so we're gonna call them Negroes you know so they were wrong because the there was a population all over the planet called Moors before any of this stuff happened so the more I know, the more I grow.